U.S. Supreme Court justices will now make a decision on one of the country's strictest abortion laws. Oral arguments began today in D.C. on whether Idaho's abortion ban can be enforced in the case of medical emergencies. Queen City News reporter Shakira Speaks joins us now. And Shakira, you've been listening to arguments all day, so what's the very latest? Alicia, Idaho law says that anyone who performs an abortion can be prosecuted and lose their license. A federal judge in 2022 blocked the state from enforcing the law when it relates to medical care that is required under the 1986 Federal Emergency Medicare Medical Treatment and Labor Act. That law requires medical providers to give appropriate care in an emergency room. The Biden administration argues that care should include abortions in certain situations. Demonstrators crowded the Supreme Court steps Wednesday as justices heard more abortion arguments. Justices are split on whether Idaho's near-total abortion ban unlawfully conflicts with a federal law that makes sure certain standards for emergency medical care for patients, including pregnant women, are taken. It's known as the Emergency Medical Treatment and Labor Act, or EMTLA. The state law says anyone who performs an abortion is subject to criminal penalties and loss of their license. We have a solid law. It has health exceptions already. It has rape exceptions already. It is a strong, solid law. The 1986 federal law requires patients receive appropriate emergency room care. The Biden administration argues that care should include abortions in certain situations. We're talking about women's lives here uh, and being able to make those all important decisions on their health care. We've been consistent about that. We're going to continue that fight. A recent Harvard youth poll reported women's reproductive rights were an important issue to 50 percent of young people between the ages of 18 and 29, with inflation and health care leading the poll with more than 58 percent. On Monday, the Biden administration finalized a new rule shielding the medical records of women who travel across state lines for legal abortions from criminal investigations. In North Carolina, abortion is legal during the first 12 weeks of pregnancy. So the decision will affect not just Idaho, but other states, including Texas, that have enacted similar abortion bans that abortion rights advocates say clash with the federal law. Guys.